Hello, this is Gary at Jack Raven Bushcraft. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, this week I want to talk about field mushrooms. When you buy the little white closed cup mushrooms in the shop in the supermarket, well, those have been cultivated from field mushrooms. So the name is definitely suggestive of where they tend to grow. So they grow out in the open in um, fields and are delicious. So there is one down on the floor here next to me. In fact, there's loads of them. I'm absolutely surrounded by them. Um, but here is a, a field mushroom. Uh, really straightforward to I identify. However, field mushrooms can be, and often are, confused with something called a yellow stainer. Um, and in fact, it's one of the leading causes of mushroom poisoning in this country. Uh, fortunately, Typically, if you do eat yellow staters, it's just going to give you a, an upset stomach. Um, but there are a few pointers along the way. So there are a few things that you can do to test um, whether you have a, a typical field mushroom or whether you have a yellow stainer. So with a yellow stainer, if you cut it in half, so down, straight down through the center here, it will stain chrome yellow. If you smell it, it will smell a bit like TCP. And then a kind of a third um, sign, I guess. Um, when you cook a yellow stainer, it smells like burning plastic. So there are a few things there that can um, give us a good pointer um, and make sure that we're not eating the, the, the wrong thing. So remember, stains, stains grow yellow, smells of TCP. When you cook it, it's going to smell a bit like burning plastic. So I hope that is uh, useful information for you, something that will help you in your bushcraft uh, or foraging adventures. Um, I'll try to get some more content out in the next uh, week or so. You can make sure you don't miss out on that by subscribing either to our blog or to our YouTube channel. Uh, until then, take care.